Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate. I hope you're all having a lovely week so far I'm beginning to get excited for Christmas as it is literally around the corner. I'm really excited about today's video as it's something a little bit different and it is very festive so I'm going to be doing a get ready with me showing you guys how I achieved this hair and this makeup and then showing you guys some beautiful festive outfits which are here in the background and I'm really proud to say that this video is in collaboration with Nasty Girl so I'll be showing you all of my Nasty Girl top festive pics at the end so let's get into the video so i ask you guys on instagram to ask me some questions to just chat through whilst i do my makeup so i'm going to get through all of these so i'm going to start off with my laura mercier pure canvas primer to prime my face i did this makeup the other day um, and I put it on my stories and I thought it actually looked quite similar to my normal makeup but loads of you guys asked me to do tutorials. So yeah I'm delighted because it was quite fun doing something a little bit different with my makeup because, because as you guys know I've literally done the same makeup every single day since like since like 2015 or something. And then for like my base um, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter am I? Mm. No I'm not. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Foundation Stick. I do love using this as a foundation, but it isn't technically a foundation, so I'm gonna go with this stick as it is a bit more full coverage. So I wear this in the shade Ginger 06, and this is really nice, full coverage. It's quite buildable as well if you don't want it to be too heavy, um, but I just love the color. Like, look how perfectly it matches my neck. And I'm gonna blend this in with my Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. Okay, so first question is, have you made your 2021 20, vision boards? And normally I'm so well prepared in advance with like my goals and my vision boards and stuff um, for like the new year, but this year has honestly been so, so, so busy. Like I think I am the busiest I have ever been right now. And, and that has meant that a lot of things I've kind of let slide. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm gonna have a bit of time off over the Christmas break and I'm gonna really use that time to kind of align myself, think of my next goals. But one thing I have actually been really good at this year is kind of just making weekly, monthly, kind of just ongoing goals constantly. I think that's almost a bit nicer because I do believe that if you want to change something or you want something, there's no point waiting for the new year. You might as well write that down right now and just go and do it or, or work towards it. Um, so like in my notes section on my phone, instead of having like a 2020 goal list, I've just got a list called life goals and I kind of just add to it. And that also really takes the pressure off when you have like a set time frame to do something in. It really does pile on the pressure. So it's nice just to take the pressure off and um, have like kind of general goals and kind of have an idea. So like knowing that you want to achieve this in roughly a year. But yeah, maybe I'll do a little video about setting goals and stuff with you guys. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. For concealer, I'm going to be using my trusty Rimmel Lasting Radiance in the shade... I'm not sure what shade this is. I think it might be ivory. Another question was, what was your worst makeup sin as a teen? That's a really funny question. I don't think I was ever actually very terrible with makeup when I was younger. I used to wear a lot of makeup. That's probably my sin. Um, probably just wearing too much makeup. I used to get ready for school. This is probably more in like year 11 or college. I don't think I wore makeup until maybe year 10. Yeah, I used to walk into my mum's room in the morning and she would always tell me off for having a really orange cakey face. And to be honest, it wasn't cakey because I used to use quite nice makeup products. It was more just very orange, I can imagine, um, and just very like full coverage, which is fine, but I just didn't need it. I had really lovely kind of fresh skin, but I used to be very into like for the makeup gurus on YouTube, like I used to be obsessed with, um, who was I obsessed with? Oh, like Shani Grimmond. I mean, I still love her now. I think I still follow her now. But like when it was like an Instagram baddie, like that kind of phase, I was quite, quite into that. So I used to wear a lot of makeup. I'll pop some pictures up on screen if I can find any. But I actually used to be really good at like a good smoky eye and now I have lost all ability to do anything different. Um, but I do much prefer kind of having less makeup and just enhancing the features I already have. Bronze, I'm going to use my Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops. I've had this bottle such a long time and I've used it every single day and it's still going strong. Um, I just love this stuff. So a question that always, always pops up that I kind of try and avoid answering is always about guys. Um, am I dating? Do I have a boyfriend? And I don't know, I struggle to talk about like personal things online. It's strange because I'll tell you guys everything. I'll tell you guys about my mental health. I'll tell you guys, I don't know, personal things. But the one thing I kind of just like to keep private is 
my dating love life I guess, romance life. And it's not that I'm trying to hide anything from you guys, it's just that it's kind of like the one thing that I do have to myself. But I'm not going to be one of those really annoying people and address a question and then not answer it. So all I'm going to say is there has been one guy for quite a while but Covid has just completely got in the way and made it very hard for us to see each other and obviously I want to stick to the rules and I don't want to be breaking the rules so to see each other is very difficult so yeah I'm just kind of hoping that you know the vaccine comes along and we're going to be able to be a lot more free next year because it's been very hard he is the most lovely lovely guy but yeah he's honestly an angel and I'm just really hoping that um covid makes it easier for us in the new year i was using a bit of that drunk elephant on my eyelids just to kind of prime them ready for some eyeshadow i can't believe i just told you guys that i haven't told anyone online that yet so for brows i'm going to use my trusty bare minerals brow master in the shade coco should i zoom you guys in a bit more so i mentioned this on my stories recently but i've been reading well i've read the miracle morning just realised how badly I blended that. That's better. Yeah, I've been reading The Miracle Morning and it's so good. It's basically talking about how to be more productive, how to be more happy, and it's all to do with kind of waking up earlier and doing this set routine. So this week I've been getting up at six o'clock every single day and doing this kind of outlined routine that he talks about. And it's honestly been amazing. I've really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm definitely somebody who loves their sleep, but I also do love waking up early, which is kind of a bit conflicting. So, so yeah, getting up at 6.30 was quite a big deal for me, which I know sounds really silly, but normally I wake up at 7.30 and I know that's only an hour later, but there's something about getting up really early like way earlier than you actually need to get up but it's just really nice and like you just feel ahead of the game and just kind of set you up for a really nice productive and positive day and i have been really really enjoying it only thing is i have noticed that i'm getting quite like lethargic around like maybe around two and three i kind of just hit a wall a bit which i don't normally and i don't know why because i normally get up at 7 30 that's only an hour difference maybe it's a mental thing like maybe it's just a kind of like I know that I got up a little bit earlier. But anyway, I'd really recommend the book to anybody who kind of wants to be a bit more of a morning person. Because, um, yeah, it's great. So I'm just going to apply some blush. I'm using my iconic um, cream blush in powder pink. I'm having so many camera problems at the moment, guys. I don't know if it's my camera or if it's something I'm doing, but... It's a pain in the ass because I either have to have it on autofocus, which makes my life a lot easier, but you have this constant like crackling, or I do it on manual and I'm constantly looking in the viewfinder to see if I'm in focus. I'm just wondering, do I just get a new camera? But then that seems like a waste if this camera actually isn't bad and it's just me like not using it properly. Anyway, a bit of blush on the nose because I think that looks really cute. And I'm just going to set everything in place with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish in the shade two. Now this, is literally like a filter on your skin right look at my forehead it will completely airbrush it like wow the only thing is it is thick this is a full coverage powder sometimes i'll just wear like the flawless filter primer and then this on top and it will give you a full coverage look so if you have any like foundations that you really like but you want them to be more full coverage just add some of this it is brilliant and i'm literally just going to set my whole face because if it's a festive look, I can imagine you probably want it to stay on your face a bit longer if you're going to any parties. I mean, we're not going to any parties, but you know what I mean. You just want it to last all day long. Can you see how much that has just done wonders for my face? So I'm going to use this little cute pot here, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Star Gold. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. This is very, very, very pigmented, but it's this beautiful, like, shimmer deep coppery gold colour. A little bit of this goes a very long way. I might have done too much. It's fine. I'll bring it back round. I'm just going to wing it out a little bit up here. Just to give that really Charlotte Tilbury kind of look they have. I know it looks a bit much right now, but don't worry. We're going to go in for lighter shades. I'm going to use this shade here from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. The Bella Sophia, I think this is called. I'm just going to use this little brush, which is called the Soft Definer Brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to pop this kind of in the outer. This is the inner, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to just pop this just in the inner part of the eye. 
as you can see it just really makes the eyeshadow pop and just softens the gold a bit and I'm only going to bring this halfway along the eyelid and then a little bit kind of on the brow bone just to highlight it and I'm going to use my Nip and Fab palette and go in with this dark almost kind of like brownie black and just line my lash line and this is just going to kind of open up your eyes make your lashes look fuller another question was what am i getting for christmas or what have i asked for for christmas and i'm honestly not sure at all i haven't really asked for anything but normally i kind of get like candles and like bedding but yeah my family have never really done like big gifts we've always just done like kind of smaller and more meaningful gifts like I remember my friends would get like phones or like laptops, jewellery and stuff and yeah my family have just never really done that. Um, but it's nice because it kind of keeps things low key. I've only opened one present so far and that was the one from B. B actually went home to Brighton yesterday so we did um, a little bit of a present opening. She got me a tripod which is so handy, little mini one for my phone. And actually weirdly my favourite present from her, she like made up a jar of sweets like my favorite sweets and chocolate and i just really liked that i thought that was really thoughtful because she went and did it all of her all herself yeah i just thought it was really really sweet so that's what i've got for christmas so far i'm just applying my mark jacobs at lashed mascara my favorite mascara ever i just think it's the best also guys do you remember ages ago i said that we're getting new wi-fi so vlogmas is going to be really good and i'm going to be able to upload more the Wi-Fi installers have tried to install it about three times and it's just not working. There must be some sort of dodgy cable, I don't know. But it's just so typical that I get ahead of the game, get new Wi-Fi, thinking this is going to be great for Vlogmas. The universe has other plans, but that's alright. I've just been going downstairs every day and uploading it. I'm just kind of doing my brows a bit more because my eye makeup is quite heavy. I feel like you kind of got to match your brows. I'm just going to apply some highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one in this cute little palette. And I'm going to do this on my nose, down the bridge, a bit more in my inner corner, and then on the cheekbones as well. Because the most beautiful but subtle glow. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's probably my favourite. Got myself a ginger and lemon tea. I've been obsessed with these recently. I go through like phases of hot drinks, and at the moment it's ginger and lemon. I'm just going to add a bit more bronze because my eyes, as you can see, are so bronze. So. Just to tie it in, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel, what's this one? The Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And just kind of go on my forehead. There we go, that's so much better. Do you see how it just ties in more of my eyes now? Um, so for lips, I'm going to use my all-time favourite combo that I've been using since birth. So it's the NYX liner in the shade Leon. And it's quite like a nudey pink colour, but it just really matches my lips, as you can see. And it just gives them more definition. Can you see this little dot here? This dot appeared on my lips, maybe start of the year. And I was thinking, oh, it's going to go soon. It's still here. I have no idea what it is. I even went to the doctors about it. At first, it really annoyed me, but I actually really like it now. How weird is that? Um, I think it's quite cute. Anyway, oh yeah, and then gloss is my... NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I love this gloss. Just so gorgeous. Let's zoom you out. Oh, that's in. And there we go. That is my Christmas makeup. Just very simple, but nice and kind of glam and shiny. Um, I'm now going to move on to my hair, as at the moment it's currently straight and rather boring. Okay, so for hair I'm going to use my trusty Dyson. I've got a tutorial on this on my channel already, so I won't go into detail. Today I'm going to be using the thicker barrel instead of the thin one, just to give it a more kind of subtle big wave. So one thing I didn't do in my last Dyson tutorial was put it into rollers and I'm going to put the, just the front sections into rollers just so you really get that volume.
taken out the rollers. Look how voluminous the front is. I love that. And then everywhere else, it's just kind of like a very subtle wave. Um, this will drop as well. Okay, so that's my hair and makeup. All nice and glam and done. Now to move on to the exciting part, which is the festive outfits. So my hair and makeup is done. And now I'm going to run through all of these Nasty Girl outfits with you guys. I feel like Nasty Girl is the perfect place to look for like going out, glam, evening looks. They have so many pieces that are super affordable, really stylish and quite unique as well. Like I find Nasty Girl just have such a variety of pieces. So I'm going to start off with the outfit I'm wearing right now. I picked this gorgeous blouse up and I just love how much kind of excess material there is. It feels kind of very regal. It feels very expensive as well. The material is honestly such a lovely soft satin. It also has padded shoulders, which just really elevates kind of like the drapiness. And again, just makes it look so much more expensive. It's got these gorgeous big balloon sleeves that tie in at the bottom. Um, and then it kind of ties in at the waist as well, but you'll see in the try on clip. I just think the details on this top are so gorgeous. It's even got a little backless element to it, which just kind of makes it that little bit more sexy as it is quite kind of covered up at the front. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I think this might be my Christmas day outfit. Just because I think it's so elegant. I just love it. And then the trousers that you've just seen in the try on clip, these are also nasty girl. I've had these for a while, but last time I checked, they were in stock. If not, I'll link something similar down below. And these are honestly just the perfect, smart, wide leg trouser. But the best thing about them is they are really stretchy. So when you're eating Christmas dinner and eating all the chocolates, you're not going to be uncomfortable. They also feel very much like loungewear as well. So really nice to wear on a Christmas day. But they are super versatile. You could wear these to work. You could wear these all year round. The next item I've got to show you guys is this beautiful kind of slinky cow neck top. I just thought the pop of red for Christmas is just perfect. But it's a really beautiful kind of deep, almost like a burgundy. I love this slinky material. It's one of my faves for like kind of glam looks. This is also a bodysuit as well, so you can just tuck this into some jeans. It is obviously quite low cut, so I would probably put a blazer over the top of this. The style of like either jeans or just some like long wide leg trousers. And the spaghetti straps as well is always such a flattering look. I think it's very kind of dainty and pretty. And I picked this one up in a size six. So the blazer I chose to go over the top of that is this black boxy blazer. What size did I get this in? I should got this in a six, which is unlike me um, to go to true size and blazers, but I think it was labeled as oversized on the website. And my plan for this is to either wear this over the red cow neck or wear this with nothing underneath as kind of like a deep v-neck. I really like kind of how boxy this blazer is and you've also got like the matte black buttons which I think is really cool. And you've also got a little extra pocket in here which is nice. And this is also long enough for me to wear as a dress as well. So you could easily kind of belt it in at the middle and wear it with some like knee high boots or something. That would look really cute as well. And obviously it is just an all black blazer so it's something that you're going to get wear out of all year round. This next item. Oh. My God, I cannot believe Nasty Girl playing this one out the bag. Nasty Girl have absolutely smashed this. I just think this is so gorgeous. The quality as well is unbelievable. All of the individual beading that's going down is amazing. This looks like this could be like 100, 200 pounds and it's actually very weighty as well. It's even got all of the design on the back as well. So they've really gone all out of this. I just think all of these kind of beads going down are just stunning. Let me give you a little close up. Yeah, like look at all of this detail. I just think it's amazing. And this is such a statement piece, but it's also the kind of thing that you can keep in your wardrobe as like a occasion wear jacket forever. And I just think this is amazing. So I think I'd pair this with like a black bodysuit underneath and some black trousers, keeping it really simple because obviously this is a statement. You could even wear this on like a shopping day or something. If you want to be a bit extra, I just wear this with skinny black jeans, some high heeled boots and like a roll neck or something underneath and you just look and you just look so bougie and extra. I absolutely love this. Next up, we have this dress. And as you guys know, I've been loving kind of sequins and glitter this year. And I just really like the simplicity of the shape of this dress and then all of the detail in the gold kind of sequins. They're not really sequins, they're more like kind of studs actually. My vision for this was to wear it some sock boots because I think that will really elongate the leg. I'm not much of a heels kind of girl. If I do, they're probably a kitten heel. Um, I just think this would look really cool with some boots. And you can even like belt it in at the middle or wear like a big oversized blazer with it and belt it over the blazer. But yeah, I really love it. I love the long sleeves as well and how flattering it is. I also picked up this skirt, which I just think is so beautiful. 
it's got this really subtle kind of abstract pattern to it and it's in this really nice soft satin material and I just really loved the kind of detailing of the gathering here and it's such a simple skirt but with these little details just makes it look a little bit more like occasion wear and a bit more dressy so I would style this with just like a really plain basic like bodysuit or something or if you want to be a bit more low-key you can pair this with a really nice like kind of oversized knit and some boots as well that would actually make a really nice Christmas day outfit and then last but not least is this gorgeous jumpsuit I've noticed I've gone for a lot of kind of draping and like low necks in this haul which wasn't intentional if low necks aren't for you I do feel like you could easily wear this kind of backwards and it would look equally as good and again it's got nice padded shoulders which is just going to make the outfit a little bit extra and goes all the way down to the floor with nice big wide leg I would probably wear this for like Christmas Eve drinks I wouldn't wear this on Christmas day as this is very dressy and I prefer to go kind of like smart casual on Christmas and this is probably too much on the smart side but I definitely wear this on like New Year's or or some sort of like occasion I just think this is gorgeous and again looks very expensive so that's the last piece I had to show you guys let me know down in the comments which look was your favorite because I would love to know thank you so much for getting ready with me I had so much fun I hope you guys did as well I love you all so so much and I will see you in my next video bye